Time when everybody had gone to sleep, a man gets up, he turns on the TV, all of his family are deep asleep, and he watches something that's not appropriate. All of a sudden, a door opens and his daughter comes out and she just barely learned how to talk. She looked at her father. Her father tried to rush to the TV and the remote to turn off and she said, she said, shame on you father, shame on you. And then she went back into her room. And so that man, after turning off the TV, those words resonated in his head, shame on you, Father, shame on you. And tears started coming down his eyes. And he stayed up until Fajr, crying. Then he went to the masjid and he prayed with the congregation and he was crying so profusely. Some of the brothers who had not seen him that Fajr prayer, they said, are you okay brother? He said, I'm okay. One of his close friends came to him. He says, are you okay? And he is crying and he says, for over 20 years, for 20 years, this was my first sujood for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of his daughter, his daughter came on and said, shame on you. So he went to work that morning and of course he was very tired because he didn't get much sleep at night. His wife tried to call him but she couldn't reach him. He came home and she said, Honey, our daughter just passed away. His daughter passed away. And those words again came, the last words that she heard were, Shame on you, Father. Shame on you. The whole day, those were his last words. Shame on you. So he went and he buried her. He put her in the grave. When he put her in, he smiled. And his friend looked at him and said, Why are you smiling? When he had been crying so much, now he puts his daughter in the grave and he smiles. He says, I buried my daughter, but she left a note that will remain in my heart, inshallah, until the day of judgment. And from that time on, he became strong and he kept on going to the masjid. And he changed. Allah took away something from him because of those words from his daughter, he became good again. For 20 years, he didn't even prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shame on you. All of us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a lot of time to change, to improve ourselves enough we've been disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a very long time 